All right, what's up guys? Hope you all are having a great day today. Not really a long intro here because this video we're going to be taking a look at. It's like 15 minutes long. I'm not going to play the whole thing because I don't think it really needs to be played. Like this dude literally repeats himself over and over and over again. So the title of the video we're going to be taking a look at here today is 343 Industries drops Halo 3 PC unexpectedly. WTF angry face emoji. Now apparently this man is not happy that they released Halo 3 3 on PC earlier than expected. Like, I genuinely don't know how you could be mad over something like that, but I think we're gonna figure it out, guys, because I'm just gonna say, man, this dude is big mad, so I think without further ado, let's play this absolutely fantastic YouTube video. Alrighty, so I actually just woke up, I played a couple hours of Halo 3 PC last night, and so far, I'm really enjoying the game. Shot registration was phenomenal for me. I was actually mind blown by some of the shots I was able to hit across the map. Uh, it's, I, I'm sure other people are experiencing um, some incidents of bad shot registration. Like I, I, there was a few times where I had some questionable things happen. This video, this, this is, I mean, this is just gonna be me bitching. Damn bro, I really couldn't have figured that out from the title, thanks for the clarification. I. Yeah, that's that's all this is gonna be. So I can understand if you, if you don't want to watch it, but um, yeah, I I gotta I gotta kind of rant about this. I I have to, man, because for those of you who don't know, they shadow dropped Halo Three on PC last night, and uh, some people were frustrated by this. Yeah, man, I just absolutely hate it when a game I pre-order comes out a day earlier and I get to play it sooner than I expected. That's just awful, bro. Like, what the fuck were they thinking? How could they do this shit to me? They changed the date and time that they're releasing the game and shadow dropped it. And yeah, some people are frustrated, myself included. Yo, is it just me or does this dude look like he's about to cry? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Who broke this man's heart? That's, that's what I'm thinking to myself, right? Just like any game that you want to take off work to play when it releases. Um, Halo 3, that was my game. And that, that's my pride and joy. I'm taking off work and I'm going to be I'm going to play this game as soon as it drops. I mean, it's not even like they delayed the game. So when he was supposed to take off work, he can still sit on his ass and play Halo 3 all day. Like what the fuck is the problem here? And uh other people had similar plans. Well, we don't get a date that they are releasing Halo 3 on PC until seven days before. Until, until seven days before. We don't get the time the game is dropping until like four days before. And then like 12 hours before the, the time that they give us that the game's gonna drop, they change it and they shadow drop the game right then and there. Is it just me or does it feel like we're missing some key information here? Like, does this man work at Walmart and instead of working the day shift, he decided to work the night shift so he could play the game when it came out? And that's why he's butthurt over this entire thing? Like, I genuinely am wondering because literally there is no reason to bitch about a game coming out sooner than you expected because it's not like the game has a fucking expiration date. Once the game's out, it's out. So if you took off time to play the game and the game's already out, did you literally still have that time to play the game? Like, I genuinely don't know how anyone could bitch about this, but you know, here we are. Now, when I express my frustrations with this, with them shadow dropping the game and not being able to stick to a set date and time, I was met with a lot of comments along the lines of, oh, you're mad they're releasing it early? How could you be mad they're releasing, releasing it early? Oh, you always got to find something to complain about. I mean, is that really such an unfair assumption to make? Because, I mean, if I was uploading a video like this, I would at least listen back to it and make sure before I hit publish that it doesn't make me sound borderline retarded. Because right now, the only thing people are going to take from this video is that you are mad that they get to play a game sooner than what they expected. Uh, a, a Rash, A Rash, I'll link his channel in the description. He, he, was, he was met with similar comments. Wow, what a shock. The same stupid take from two different people gets the same reaction. Who would have guessed? And in the in the official Halo Discord, in the official Halo Discord, he said, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. He was, stuff like this is seriously pathetic for a major company. I don't know why it is so hard to give us a release. I don't know why it is so hard to give us release dates and stick to them. 
I mean, just imagine you order something from Amazon. It says it's going to take three days to get there. But two days later, you walk up to your front door. You see a package sitting there, and it's the item you ordered. Are you genuinely going to get pissed off and be like, oh my god, I cannot believe Amazon, a multi-billion dollar corporation, couldn't get my delivery date right. You know, I am demanding a refund right now. I demand compensation for my time and trouble because this is outrageous. They delivered my package earlier than I expected. How could they do this? I mean, do you not understand how retarded you sound, dude? Like, Jesus Christ. And you're wondering why you're getting backlash for this shit. Yeah. I mean, that is just... How could you... Uh-huh. I agree. 100%. And then people are like, oh, are you serious? And A-Rash says 100%. Uh, so you're literally complaining about a company releasing a game early? And A-Rash says, yeah, some people make plans around set dates and times companies give them. It's not hard to stick to the times you tell people. 100%. Percent. Yo, why is this guy sounding like he's about to cry again, dude? Like, just take a break, go hug your Cortana body pillow. You know, everything will be all right. You can still play Halo 3 whenever you want. Nah, but for real though, bring back Halo 4 Cortana. He is not wrong at all. So, this guy, so it's a bad thing they release it 12 hours early? All right, cool. Yes, it's a terrible fucking thing. And then I love how we're like four minutes into this video and he says like, oh, it's a terrible thing, but he still hasn't said why it's a terrible thing. You know, it's just bad, bro. Like you may be able to win some people over if you actually told them why, but I highly fucking doubt it because the entire crux of this argument is some logic you would expect from a person with like a single digit IQ. You got Snickerdoodle says, uh, at a rash in the discord. So Okay, hang on, we'll just roll it back for everyone and tell them it was because you were mad. How the fuck can people not understand that you would be frustrated with them releasing the game unexpected like this? Guys, I don't know if it's just me, but I think he's kind of pissed off here. How the fuck can people not understand that you would be frustrated with them releasing the game unexpected like this? Again, bro, go hug that Cortana body pillow. Maybe give it a nice big squeeze. Maybe some post-nut clarity could do you some good here. They give us the release date seven days before. They give us the release time four days before, and then they fucking change it and just sh drop it right then and there. You don't understand how people could be frustrated by that? People take off of work. They plan for this shit because they want to play the game right when it drops. You don't understand? How people wouldn't like them releasing the game un unexpectedly early? Pretty much. What the fuck is wrong with you? Just when you think the self-awareness can't get any fucking lower, Jesus Christ. And then there were even more brain-dead replies on this tweet A-Rash put out saying, Apparently H3 is out. I don't know why 343 has a dying hatred of actually sticking to release times. And you had people saying, Why is this a bad thing? You could still play it at whatever time you planned, but others can begin playing it now. First off, that's not the point you want to play. <laughs> you plan to play the game right when it drops. What difference at this point does it make? Bro, in that situation, nothing changes. You can just play it that night, and then when you wake up in the morning, instead of going to work, just play Halo 3 because you already took the day. Like, I fucking don't get it, dude. I genuinely don't get it, but whatever, man. Apparently, this dude is just really upset. He's literally acting like this game releasing like 12 hours early literally ruined his entire life. Right, you want to play it right when it drops. Some people want to grind it from the time it drops all through the night. What are you grinding for? You don't unlock anything in Halo except armor. What advantage are you missing out on by not being able to play the game right when it drops? It's not like you're playing Call of Duty where all the good guns are like locked at the higher levels. Like Halo, you get everything from the start. You just don't get some armor. That's about it. <sighs> and this guy, Because they like finding something to cry about. 3 for 3 gives us season 2 update early and Halo 3 on PC and it's bad? Question mark? How is releasing a game earlier than intended shady? Literally no one loses in this no one loses in this situation? What? What? And again, he doesn't bother to explain it. That's the entire thing in this situation. Like, he's literally saying that people getting a game earlier than what they expected is somehow a negative thing, and then offers no explanation on how his situation is negatively impacted because this game came out earlier. So can you really be mad at people for not understanding where the fuck you're coming from when you don't even bother to explain it to them? But even then, you're not gonna win anyone over because this entire video is just absolutely retarded. Imagine being mad that one of the most anticipated Halo, ga Halo games on PC released early these people oh i don't i don't understand it 
I think everybody watching your video is probably thinking the exact same fucking thing. I mean, completely brain dead. Nobody understands how you could be frustrated that something released early? That's right, no one understands why I'm mad about this, but they're the brain dead ones. Again, self-awareness of the fucking negatives. And there was plenty of other unintelligent comments, but I just, I don't have time to go through them all. Yeah, but this video still has 10 minutes in it, bro, so obviously you kind of did have time to go through it. But let me put it like this, for those of you who don't understand how releasing something early and changing the date and time unexpectedly could be a bad thing. Holy shit, guys, six minutes into this video and he's finally going to explain why he's actually upset over this and how it could actually be perceived as a negative thing. It took him long enough. So let's say you plan a week-long vacation for you and your family. You plan a cruise. Okay? And there's a set date and, and a set time that you're going to board the cruise. Okay? And let's say the terminal where you got to go to board the cruise is like three hours away, right? And it's the night before. The, tomorrow, you're, you're going to the terminal, you're boarding the cruise, and there you go. Right? It's the night before, you have all your shit packed, you're ready to go to sleep, you're going to wake up early, get to the terminal two hours before boarding, and uh, yeah, that's that's the plan, right? And then all of a sudden, the cruise line comes out and says, uh, yeah, uh, we're boarding now. We're boarding right now. Oh, that's a good thing because it's early. Oh, it's early. That's a good thing. This has to be one of the worst analogies I think I've heard in my entire life. Like, as someone who has actually been on a cruise, like, five times in the past five years, I know for a fact, like, the shittiest part of going on a cruise is having to get there and wait in line to get on the boat because everybody goes at one time. So them actually opening it up early for people to board ahead of time would speed that process up. You don't have to spend, like, two hours waiting in line to get your passport checked, to go through security and everything like that. So, personally, that sounds like a good thing. It's not like the ship's pulling off 12 hours ahead of time and leaving you at the fucking dock, bro. And it's even more retarded to compare this to a fucking video game because a cruise is a limited time thing. Once the video game's out, you can play it whenever you want. You're three hours away from the terminal. You, you plan to be there on, on time, but they unexpectedly, without warning, just changed it and said, hey, we're boarding now. You don't un- you... That's a good thing? Pretty much, dude. <laughs> Some pe man, the, the stupidity. I cannot stand stupidity. And it's just, stupidity is so common in the world today. You're really not helping stopping the spread either. It is. It... <laughs> like, I feel like there's a bunch of people... <laughs> like, I feel like you could tell somebody two plus two equals four, and people just sit there and deny it. Nah, it's five. It's five. You could prove to them it's four, but now they're just gonna sit there, it's five. Nope, it's five. They won't have it any other way, it's five. I mean, dude, I'm not gonna lie, that literally sounds like what you were doing when you were reading through all those comments. Like, you refused to listen to people explaining to you why it's not a bad thing, and you just kept saying, like, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's awful. It's awful, bro. You don't understand. You don't get it. Like, you're literally the person saying that two plus two equals five, and you're just too stupid to realize it. Even though you have proof, you could back it up. No, no, it's four. Here, I'll show you. It's four. Nope, five. People are ignorant and fucking stupid as shit. Now, I get it. If you were sitting here at your PC and just bored as shit and thinking to yourself, man, I really wish it was tomorrow. I want to play Halo 3 PC right now. And then 3 for 3 comes out and says, oh, we're dropping it now. Yay. Yeah, I understand being happy. Cool. Fine. So why are you so angry then? Like, Jesus Christ, get over it. But to not understand how some people would be frustrated with this is so absurd. Like, some people were busy. They, they cleared their schedule for a certain date and time when this game was supposed to drop. Because they want to play it right when it releases. And without warning, they just changed the date and time. If they had, like, they had to have known there was a possibility they were going to change the time. And, like, they, they couldn't have at least warned us. Like, I think he's slowly starting to slip into insanity at this point. Actually, uh, so I've seen several 343 devs on Twitter liking and retweeting posts talking about the game uh, launching on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Well, it would have been it would have been 1 p.m. for for me, my time, uh, 10 Pacific. But yeah, I saw 343 employees on Twitter 
retweeting and liking posts that said that. Oh, Tuesday at 1 p.m. Like, a, a couple hours before they shadow dropped the fucking game. What? What? It's called a surprise release, bro. Like, it was supposed to be a positive thing. Like, hey, guess what? The game was supposed to come out tomorrow, but you can play it right now. Like, that's a positive thing. Everybody was probably happy with that announcement, but here we are watching a video from an angry man-child, upset that people got to play the game sooner than expected, because somehow, that's a negative thing. Yet again, incompetent as fuck. I need I need a different word. I need a different word because I'm getting tired of saying incompetent when talking about fucking 343, man. And, you know, another thing which doesn't really apply to myself because I'm all over the place with my YouTube channel and the videos I upload and I'm always late to getting certain videos out. So this doesn't really affect me because, uh, like, like I said, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm so unorganized. But there's some content creators out there who wanted to make videos on, um, when, on Halo 3 PC, right when it dropped, about Season 2, or the new Skull, the challenges, all kinds of things. Well, first off, s plenty of people already beat them to it, because they got early access to the game. Aw, the poor YouTubers don't get to make the videos when they want to. We should all be so mad at 343, because a bunch of random YouTubers on YouTube don't get to make a video about a game we could all just be playing right now instead of watching YouTube videos on. You know, excuse me while I play the world's smallest violin for the fact that YouTubers didn't get early access to this game and they have to play it just like everyone else. You know, cry me a fucking river. But... Now, they get this random, unexpected <laughs> release time for the game, which they might not have been prepared for. They might have been at work, so they may not have been at home, at their setup, ready to make videos when 343 unexpectedly announced, hey, the game's live right now. So as a YouTuber who also has other shit in life to worry about, like for me personally, I have an internship this summer, which is like full time. And then on top of that, I'm a full time college student. And you're not going to catch me sitting here bitching and moaning like if a game company decided to release a game early and say I have to be at work or I have school at that time. Because guess what? I'm not an entitled little shit. And I'm not going to bash a company for doing something positive for everyone else, even though I can't necessarily take advantage of that. But guess what? I can still play the game when I initially intended to, so forgive me for not whipping out the world's smallest violin and shedding a legitimate tear for you here, bro. Like, honestly, get some fucking perspective. <sighs> like, again, that doesn't apply to me, because, like, I'm I'm always late. I take my time on getting my videos out, so everyone beats me to certain videos anyway. Like, if, if there's an MCC dev blog, everyone and their mom's gonna have a video out before me. That's just the way it is, and I'm, I don't really care, but to other people, this really affects them. 343. Three. Never do this again. Stick to a set date and time, right? And let us know a good amount of time in advance of what that date and time are. You know what, 343, if by some chance one of your employees is watching this, do me a favor, announce the release date for Halo Infinite. It just completely randomly dropped the game like a week early just to trigger this dude, because in all honesty, that's almost as entertaining as Halo 3 on PC, I'm not gonna lie. I don't understand why people can't comprehend how someone could be frustrated that they released the game unexpectedly early. It's common sense why someone would be would be frustrated about this. And you know, I was frustrated to begin with, with how long it took them to give us an actual confirmed date and time the game was coming out. This dude's literally just looking to bitch about anything at this point. Like, I get content's kind of slow. When you have a Halo dedicated channel, you don't really have much to talk about. But this is just absolutely pathetic, dude. Right? And, I like, I wanted to take off work, and I did. But, like, uh, oh, two weeks, like, a little over a week in advance before uh, July 14th, I was, I, was at, I was at work talking to my boss. I'm like, is it cool if I take off a day next week? He's like, yeah, sure. I just, just let me know ahead of time. Uh, what, what day do you need off? And I'm just sitting there like... Uh, um, I, I, I don't know what time I need off because 343 won't fucking tell me what time I need off because I, I knew the game was coming out. Uh, well, first I didn't know the game was coming out July 14th. I didn't, I didn't know. We didn't know that until like seven days before. Could you like imagine actually walking up to your boss and saying like, yeah, I need a day off next week. And they ask, oh, what day do you need off? And you say, well, I don't fucking know, dude. 343 Industries hasn't fucking dropped a date yet, dude. Fuck them. But even after I knew that. Then it was like, okay, well, what time is it coming off? I, what, what time is it coming out? 
I work a nine to five. So if you work a nine to five, you would have already been home from work for the day when it came out early. You could have played that night and then you took off the day that it was supposed to come out. So you would have had that entire day to play the game. So what is the fucking problem here, dude? So I, I was, if the game came out the same time Halo 2 launched on PC, I would have been home from work and I would have just taken off Wednesday because then I would have had a full day to play. But, uh... If it was coming out in the middle of the day and I was at work, well, then I would have to take off Tuesday because I, I, I want to play it right when it drops. And uh, then we finally found out it was one o'clock, so I ended up taking off Tuesday. And I say one o'clock because that's what time it was for me because I'm Eastern time, but people in the West, it was 10 Pacific. But yeah, even though I was off work on Tuesday, I still wasn't prepared for them to shadow drop the game, especially when they're liking and retweeting posts that are saying all oh, the game's coming out tomorrow at one. So you literally just admit that it worked out for the better for you and you literally have no reason to complain about this shit. You're just pissed off that they dropped it before it was supposed to come out because you weren't expecting it. That's the whole point of a surprise drop, you dumb motherfucker. Like, what? A lot of people weren't ready for this. And it's you, people, people just say, oh, you could still play it at your, the time you took off work and the time you planned to play it. Yeah, that's not a problem. People want to play it right when it drops and grind the game. That, like, that is a thing. You want to play it right when it drops. This dude is like some next level version of Entitled, bro. Like, he literally does not want other people to play a video game because it doesn't release at the time that he wants it to. If you can't comprehend that, you're a moron. So that's going to just about do it for this video. Well, thank God we can stop watching this piece of shit now. But anyway, long story short, he's big mad that the game didn't come out when it was supposed to, even though he took off the entire day and got to play it for the entire day, instead of only being able to play it for half that day, and he also got to play it the night that it came out after he got off of work. So long story short, he's literally bitching that he got to play the game more than he initially intended to, and overall, this dude is a complete piece of shit. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it appreciate it. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and for all the recent support as well. And I will catch you guys next time.